Hello and welcome to rarebricksets.com. In this video we'd like to introduce you to our modified version of the London Bridge that has become one of the most popular large-scale Lego models that the Lego company has come out with. And um, what is so great about this model is unlike some of the other large sets like the Statue of Liberty or the Taj Mahal or even the Eiffel Tower and the Sydney um, Opera House, the London Bridge is such that it is actually a great set to add to a Lego city. And even though it's really designed for us grown-ups, this is something a lot of younger Lego fans are also getting, um, whether it's for their birthdays or for Christmas. And um, so what we decided to do was, a couple of years ago, we added it to our Lego city. But one of the problems that we saw was that even though it's great to actually make it part of a city, the design was such that we could not actually play with it or we couldn't use it. It was simply a model to display. And so what we decided to do was to make it so that you can actually, um, we made some changes so that you can actually use it inside your Lego city. And that is what we have done here. We have taken the London Bridge and we're going to show you how we extended the inside, how we made the opening higher, how to open it up so that, for example, whether you have a train set or cars, you can actually run all of the Lego trains through the London Bridge. That is what we're going to show you. And it is also such that even if you don't want to run a train through it, we can also, using the same opening, using everything just like what we did, it is so great that you can also, for example, put regular Lego vehicles. And you can actually remove the tracks and use the flat pieces that it came with. And you can actually run all of the Lego vehicles through the bridge. So we're going to show you how to do this. And along the way, in case you're wondering, the bridge is higher than the ground. So this right here is about an inch and a half higher. So along with it, we're also going to show you how we took regular train tracks that the LEGO company comes with, and we actually made them so that they're actually rising. Um, we're going to show you how we did it. Very simple to do. Um, so we, we added this and um, as you can see in the pictures, we have taken pictures of the whole setup. We didn't take any of them right now simply because this London Bridge is already so big, it is so wide, that when we have the on and off ramps, when we add them to it, it is literally bigger than the table, big, uh, wider, longer than the space that I have available to take the videos. But um, just so that you know, um, what we're going to show you now in the next videos is how we did it. How we made the changes that were necessary so that we can literally run trains and vehicles through the bridge. And that is what we're going to show you. We're going to show we left everything on the outside as is. We simply made changes on the inside. And what is really cool about this is this is actually very easy to do. Even if you have already built the London Bridge, you can simply take it apart very easily. This actually comes apart in great sections. And then I'm going to show you right now how we made the changes to the inside that opened up the arch opening. Instead of being here, we raised it up to here. And this then allows all of the trains and the vehicles, if you want to run them, they'll go right through them. The width of it is absolutely perfect. And the height is such, what we did was we checked with all of our existing LEGO train sets. Every single one of them was able to go right through here with no problems. So that is what we're going to show you. And then we'll also show you how to... Um, build the tracks, what you need to do in order to literally curve them up a little bit. And then also we build the little walls for the ends. This is at the end of the, let me just move the London Bridge here at the end in case you're wondering how this all looks. Um, 
when it's all said and done we're going to show you how to build this so that everything fits in this is completely optional and then in case you're wondering though we don't want to just show you how to build the bridge and leave you hanging so on both ends we're going to show you how we build a little extra wall that hides the tracks so that as the trains then go up and down they can do this easily on their own not a problem at all and then we're going to show you how we did all of this and then like I said you can do the same thing for the cars and um, also what is cool about this is if you already have the London Bridge making the the change you're gonna have to spend maybe between five to ten dollars at the most and the parts that you need in order to do this right here we have included the parts list because there's only so few pieces that you need you can easily get them off the Lego website so the parts list is included so now uh, what I'm gonna do is in the member section now you're gonna see the actual videos on how to do it if you are already in the members section um, check out the other videos now and I'm going to show you literally how we did all this and how easily it's done this is something you can do if you are if you have the skills to build a London Bridge you definitely have the skills to do what I'm about to show you so um, go to the members section or if you're already there um, look at the other video now and we're going to show you how to do it. So I'll see you again in a little bit here.